During my trip to Phu Quoc, an island in Vietnam, I picked up a pearl necklace. This got me wondering, did I actually buy a genuine one? Looking online for answers, I stumbled upon a sea of dubious advice on how to tell real pearls apart. So today, I'm going to cut through the confusion and show you a scientifically sound way to identify real pearls. I'm excited to introduce a scientific method to distinguish genuine pearls. We'll cover everything from physical to chemical tests, and I'll guide you through identifying a true pearl. To confirm these pearls are authentic, I got my hands on both a real pearl and a fake one. The pearls we're using for comparison are pretty affordable. We've got freshwater pearls. And the fakes? Picked them up online for about $3. They're basically acrylic or glass beads, with a pearl-like luster, and surprisingly, they're made so well that they look almost identical to the real ones at first glance. Alright, let's dive into this. I'm going to walk you through four methods to differentiate a real pearl from a fake one. Number 1. Surface Differences First up, the simplest trick is checking out the surface. When you zoom in on them under a microscope, here's what a real pearl looks like. And here's a fake one. You'd be surprised, but even under decent magnification, spotting the difference isn't straightforward. Ironically, the fake pearl might look more flawless and less scratched. That's because fake pearls are usually perfect spheres, and super consistent in size and shine. Real pearls, though, they're all about individuality. Each one is shaped a bit differently, and their glow varies a lot. Plus, Real pearls get their charm from being layered up by shellfish with calcium carbonate over ages, which doesn't make them super hard. So a few battle scars, or scratches, are perfectly normal on real pearls. And that's actually a clue. A tiny scratch on the surface can help you tell real pearls from the imposters. It's a classic move. That's why when you pop into a pearl shop, you might see folks trying to scratch pearls with their front teeth. But here's a pro tip. It's way smarter to gently rub the pearls against each other. When you rub real pearls together, the surface calcium carbonate layer gets scraped off, leaving behind this powdery white stuff. Pop that on a black cloth, and you'll see the powder, just like this. And if you listen closely as real pearls rub against each other, you might hear a bit of a sand-like sound. Now, fake pearls? They're coated on the surface. So when you rub them, they just slide around. No powder, no fuss. See the difference? Sure, those scraped areas on real pearls might seem almost invisible when cleaned up. But don't go too crazy rubbing or you might dull their shine. Now, let's dive into the second difference. The hole drilled in the pearl. To get a closer look, let's snip a pearl necklace and inspect it. First off, real pearls have clean holes, while fake ones often show peeled off coatings around the hole from drilling. So, the hole is a dead giveaway for spotting fakes. Now, on to the more scientific methods. The third approach involves cracking open the pearl to peek inside. I tried it out, hammer and all. Yucks! Let's just say the desk wasn't gonna survive, so I took it outside. Two pearls met their fate. The fake pearls, they were tough nuts to crack, but the real one, it broke with surprising ease. Examining the broken bits, the fakes had a coating that mimicked pearl luster, while the real deal revealed multiple layers of calcium carbonate. Using tweezers, I could separate them into distinct layers. Interesting, isn't it? Real pearls keep their calcium carbonate layers intact inside. So, by cracking them open, you can spot the difference for sure. Lastly, 
Real pearls exhibit a chemical reaction when they need vinegar. Since they're made of calcium carbonate, just like shells, when vinegar, an acidic solution, touches them, they release carbon dioxide. So, we set up a little experiment. We dropped the pearls in a beaker like this, added some vinegar, and watched for reactions. See those bubbles? That's the real pearl at work. But the fakes? Not a peep. By testing with vinegar like this, we can spot the real pearls by the bubbles. But here's a heads up. It's not advisable for top-notch pearls since vinegar can damage their surface. Leave them in vinegar for a couple of days, and you'll notice the pearl's thin film peeling off, along with a loss of luster. So, that's how you tell real pearls from fakes. As I mentioned in the previous video, thanks to modern pearl cultivation techniques, getting real pearls isn't as tough as it used to be. But what matters most is knowing how to spot the valuable ones. Remember, a pearl's value lies in its luster, size, and roundness. Take this necklace, for example. Made of irregularly shaped pearls, it's priced modestly. Now, the one from Fu Kuok? After scrutinizing its surface and holes, I can confidently say they're the real deal. The pearls are round, uniform, and lustrous. Looks like a solid find. That's a wrap for today. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Unraveling the mysteries through science. This is Fishy Science, signing off.